William Arthur Cochran was born and raised in Toronto and in high school joined the Royal Sea Cadets and was promoted to Chief Petty Officer. Medicine, though, was always on his radar screen. My grandfather, who was a health inspector at the University of Toronto, he encouraged me to look at medicine, which I always did as a kid. Well, I graduated from the University of Toronto and then interned at Toronto General Hospital and decided I wanted to do pediatrics, did postgraduate work for two years at Sick Kids in Toronto and came to enjoy very much the babies and the children. I guess because um, you got a quick response if they got better, in other words. But also you had to deal with the whole family all the time. That was very pleasant. They loved him at the Hospital for Sick Children. Uh, that is, the nurses did, but uh, also the children. He had a way with people, and particularly a way with children that was just uh, tremendous. Dr. Cochran's early research focused on the new field of metabolic diseases and inborn errors. One of the findings was related to the protein effect on blood sugar. He came across a form of diabetes, which wasn't a classical form of it. It wasn't classically called by you know, an, iron, uh, an insulin deficiency state. And he developed a test to identify those separate patients that you then treated differently. And it became known as the Cochrane test and is still known and still used. Dr. Cochrane grew increasingly interested in pursuing an academic career in teaching and research. And in 1958, was drawn to Dalhousie in Halifax. What he did do there, which was very significant, was that he, uh, he managed to, uh, with help of the other members of the fundraising committee, solicit a donation from Mrs. Killam. Uh, it was, and it was that donation that created the Isaac Wal Walton Killam uh, Pediatric Hospital in Halifax. He developed a regional program to look after the health needs of the entire population in the Atlantic provinces. That was an amazing thing to do. Dr. Cochran's key accomplishment is is the establishment of the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Calgary. When they were looking for a new medical school ahead in Calgary, the first thought was, could we get Bill Cochran uh, to uh, serve in that role? I invited to come to Calgary to start a medical school. Didn't have one, didn't have any students, faculty, building. So it was a difficult decision to leave uh, when the hospital was just being built in Halifax. But the opportunity was very rare to get a chance to build a medical school. He built a school from the ground up. There were no buildings. They had the top floor of the Foothills Hospital as their initial medical school. All the while he was planning for the first major building and saw it through to completion. Looking at medical education, it's convinced there's a need to change how we train physicians. He had a very distinct vision for it. He took a path less traveled in creating a medical school that did its undergraduate training in three years rather than the conventional four. And then coupled with that, we taught systems, in other words, rather than disciplines, pharmacology, physiology, anatomy, etc. They'd be taught systems, in other words, the heart and lung system, the uh, renal metabolic system, and the neurological systems, but focus it around the patient rather than isolate them. This is really unusual and has proved to be a distinctive quality of our school, thanks to Bill Cochran. It's one where the literature now is saying there should be more of these kind of programs in Canada, so he was that far ahead of his time. Among his many accomplishments, Dr. Cochran also served as Alberta's Deputy Minister of Health Services before being appointed as President and Vice Chancellor of the University of Calgary. And then moved into the private sector where he's held many leadership positions, including the CEO of Connaught Labs. This is a remarkable career. I guess my philosophy has always been one, if you're marketable, do things, get at it, do it, and then get out, give somebody else the responsibility to carry on. And that seems to be the characteristic of his life, going from uh, peak to peak. So Bill Cochran, the person, is uh, a very special type of person. He holds a special place in our hearts, and we're very proud of him. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. William Cochran.